So, we've prepared for networking by implementing the foundation of networking functionality. Now, we need to get specific and define which server we're going to communicate with, what requests we need to send out, and what responses we should expect. Let's continue with the code. All the networking capabilities in our application we are going to implement in Media Service class. We've got two placeholders here, Get Media List and Get Media Methods. Before we proceed with implementation of those, we are going to create a few helping elements. First, let's create a structure that will hold all the parameters for the API. Here we're defining a couple private variables to hold the base of the API URL and the additions for the search and lookup. And then we are generating full URLs for search and lookup. Next, we are going to create a general function that will help us create a request. This function will take a few parameters, the URL and additional parameters that we need to attach to that URL. Within this method, we are generating an instance of URL request object, setting the request method and forming the parameter body. Now we can use this function to create more specific functions, to create requests for search and lookup. Each of these methods take parameters that are applicable to specifics of each request. Now we are ready to implement our main functions. We are going to start with getting media list functionality. First, we need to alter its declaration. It's going to take two parameters, First is the term that we're going to use to search. And the second one is a completion block. That is a block of code that is going to be executed after we receive response from the server. And here's the implementation. We are creating a session, an instance of URL session object. It will provide in a default configuration. Next, we are creating a search request using the helper method we created earlier. Using this request, we are creating a task for the session to perform the actual search. And to activate the task, we are calling resume method on the task. When a task is completed, it's going to execute a block of code that we provide here. We'll have to work with three parameters, data, response, and error. First, we need to verify that the data we received is not nil and the error is nil. Then we can proceed processing the response. Otherwise, we call completion block indicating that the request failed and no data received. Next, we're moving on to processing the response. Here we are verifying the status code, parsing our JSON response, and getting the results object from the result field in the JSON response. If all criteria is met, we can proceed with processing the results. Otherwise, again, we're calling the completion block indicating that request failed. Now let's process the results. We are declaring a list variable to hold our media brief objects. Then we are walking through all the elements of the results array and trying to populate our list. To process each element of the results, we need to make sure that each item is a dictionary. We are using guard statement here. It works somewhat opposite to if else statement. It can be read as if the element of the results is a dictionary as expected, then we'll continue what follows the statement. Otherwise, we'll execute the else clause and continue through the loop. Once we verify the type of results element, we can attempt to create media brief object. For that, we need to make sure that all the required fields are present in the dictionary. If that is so, we are creating a media brief object and appending it to our list array. Finally, when we finished walking the results array, we are calling the completion block with success, providing the list array as data. The completion will be successful, regardless the number of elements in the list, even if it's zero. We are now done with get media list functionality. Let's move on to get media implementation. Here we also need to alter the declaration. This method is going to use the lookup request. It takes two parameters, the ID that we're going to use for lookup and completion block like in previous example. And here's the implementation of the method. 
As you can see, it's very similar to Get Media List. There are a few differences. The first one, we no longer need to walk the results array, as we are expecting only one result. Instead, we are simply verifying that the count of the elements of the results is more than zero. Then we are fetching the first element and verifying all the required fields. Using those, we are composing our media object. And after that, we are setting optional properties. And once we got our one and only element, we can call successful completion. It seems like this is all we need to populate our views. But let's remember images. We only have the URL to the images, but not the actual image data. That we also need to extract from remote server. Let's create another method that will be responsible just for that. We'll call it getImage. It will take two parameters, the image URL and the completion block. Structurally, the implementation is similar. The data handling is a little bit different. This time, we don't need to parse it in JSON format. We simply return the data that was returned from the server as is. And now we are done with media service implementation. Nice work.